2018 Nissan Leaf Car Review. Nissan's Leaf appeared for 2011 looking fairly dorky and, through the EPA's reckoning, efficient at traveling just 73 miles because of its 24.0 kWh battery. As more EVs become so popular so fast with greater driving range, Nissan gradually boosted the Leaf's abilities. Range was increased to 75 miles for 2013, then to 84 miles for 2016, an optional 30.0 kWh battery also came online for 2016 that further up the Leaf's range to 107 miles. This year, Nissan has redesigned the Leaf in and out, added more power, and, critically, increased battery size to 40.0 kWh on every model. The Good Points of 2018 Nissan Leaf Improved driving range, less red looks, slick semi-autonomous tech, good deal. The Bad Points of 2018 Nissan Leaf Subpar interior materials, portable charger consumes cargo space. Miles and money. Driving range expires big time. The 2018 LEAF is anticipated to deliver an EPA rated variety of 150 miles per charge. Nissan says that lands the LEAF within a sweet spot between so called compliance EVs, low cost electrics with relatively limited range that manufacturers produce to fulfill certain regulations, and Chevrolet's Bolt EV and Tesla's Model 3, as both versions offer more than 200 miles of range but in a higher cost. Among the compliance cars, that include the Ford Focus Electric, the Hyundai Ioniq Electric, as well as the Kia Soul EV, the Volkswagen e-Golf's 125-mile range comes nearest to the Leafs. And, for 2019, there's a Leaf Plus model coming which has a 60.0 kWh pack as well as a range above 200 miles. Where Nissan really hits its competitors hard is price. At $30,875, the brand new Leaf it isn't just less expensive than its predecessor, it's priced within the thick of these less capable models. It's conveniently obtainable nationwide. Long range EVs will set you back, the Bolt, best for 238 miles of EPA rated range, starts at $37,495. As as you move the Model 3 is anticipated to start at $35,000 and provides 220 miles of range to use least expensive form. The base Leaf S further ups its value game with now standard automated emergency braking, and a 5.0-inch touchscreen, automatic headlights, LED taillights, automatic climate control, as well as a proximity key with push-button starting. A portable level 1 and 2 connector a $1,590 option for the Leaf S, included inside SV's technology package, and standard about the S erases the requirement for a 240V solution set up on your home although you'd still require or add sufficient 240V electrical capability, adapters for 120V wall outlets and standard 240V plugs like those used by clothes dryers are included. Also the main deal is DC quick charging capability, that may replenish 88 miles of driving range in mere 30 minutes from the public Chaimo connection. Recharge times differ from 7.5 hours on the 32 amp, 240 volt hook up to 35 hours when attached to a typical 120 volt wall outlet. Every leaf is recharged with a port hidden just on top of the Nissan badge in the nose. The mid-level SV retails for $33,375 and replaces the S's 5.0-inch touchscreen having a 7.0-inch version with navigation, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. In addition, it adds P&A black interior trim, a leather-wrapped tire, and 17-inch aluminum wheels. The top dog. $37,085 Leaf SL adds goodies safe for example a Bose speakers, LED headlights, a heated tire and heated front seats, leather, rear vac ducting, 
blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, as well as a surround view camera system. Beyond the numbers, a low cost and more equipment are excellent, even so the rest on the changes Nissan meant to the LEAF deserve equal, or more, attention. The compact electric hatchback is superior to the original in every single way, despite reusing its predecessor's platform. The battery's greater capacity is obtained from more energetic cells that fit inside the same underfloor volume since the previous generation LEAF's 30.0 kWh pack, preserving interior space. Crash test requirements that didn't exist once the first LEAF preceded sale seven years back dictated some high strength steel be blended into the front structure, those along with other stiffening measures raised the LEAF's actual and perceived solidity. And the brand new bodywork abandons the previous leaf Samrath his blah blocade a more mature, mainstream appearance with black adult pillars plus a floating roof design. Better still, suspension updates directed at managing the 2018 leaf smiled fat gain over the 2017 model have removed a majority of the flop and roll from the existing model's soggy handling. The Leaf is actually composed when driven spiritedly and exhibits little body roll, thanks partially to 10% stiffer anterior bars. The steering is a lot improved, too, using a quicker ratio, good response, as well as a more satisfying heft than before. The car can be more refined than before, using the suspension absorbing impacts with less noise. As in other EVs, Lacking internal combust engine white noise heightens occupants' understanding road and tire sounds. To our ears the newest leaf is quieter, however the door mirrors generate an affordable amount of wind whoosh at highway speeds. Getting the revolutionary leaf nearly those speeds is usually a notably quicker affair as a result of its updated electric motor. The otherwise carry-over motor gains a whole new inverter bringing increases of 40 horsepower and 49 lbft of torque for brand new totals of 147 and 236 just how much zippier the 2018 leaf is will probably be confirmed once we get one within the test track as before the motor produces a mild whirring sound and also at speeds below 18 miles per hour the leaf emits a Jetsonian electronic tone externally to alert pedestrians of their otherwise excellent presence. Breaking news Like the Bolt, the newest leaf includes an on pedal driving mode by which drivers will bring the car to your complete halt using only the engine braking effect on the electric motor, without touching the brake pedal. Dub D pedal this driver selectable on a pedal feature can slow the leaf to varying degrees depending within the accelerator pedal's angle. For example, from the cruise, lessening your pedal input begins slowing the leaf. Taking your foot over accelerator entirely triggers a gradual progression to your peak of 0.20 grams of deceleration searching for speed is scrubbed. Good thing, too. Provided that the Leaf's actual brake pedal is suffering from an overboosted feel plus an action that muddies the difference between friction braking and also the slowing effect from the electric motor's energy recuperation. Cleverly, e-pedal blends within the friction brakes automatically on top in the electric motor's resistance, both to hold on to the Leaf stationary once stopped on approximately a 30% grade and when it is full and struggling to accept more charge on the motor's energy recuperation the source with the engine braking type drag when decel this ensures consistent e-pedal slowing no matter the car battery's state of charge, plus it draws no energy in the motor to keep your vehicle still. The e-pedal's speed-dependent stopping power takes getting used to before it's possible to effectively time when to get started on lifting away from the accelerator to, say, stop by an upcoming intersection from different speeds. On the upside, its build-up in braking force is much smoother compared to bolts allure nothing on a pedal slowing. I'm your pilot. Need more tech? 
Nissan offers its ProPilot Assist radar-based adaptive cruise control and camera-based, self-steering landkeeping assist function as well as lane departure warning. It's available about the mid-level Leaf SV and top-shelf SL trim levels. For the SV, ProPilot Assist is bundled together with the $2,200 technology package. This includes blind spot monitoring, pedestrian detection, rear cross-traffic alert, LED headlights, and 8-way power driver's seat, as well as a few other things. On the SL, which I'll watch includes some of these extras, the tech package with ProPilot costs just $650. Some early production LEAFs can come standard with such packages. When activated using a steering wheel button, ProPilot can competently bring the LEAF to some complete stop and accelerate again, provided the stop lasts under 3 seconds, adjust the automobile's speed to complement traffic ahead, and steer between lane markings. Nissan insists, however, that ProPilot is often a driver aid not much of a self-driving system. Take your hands off of the wheel for upwards of a few moments, plus the leaf flashes visual warnings inside gauge cluster and sounds increasingly urgent alarms. Wait about a short period, plus the leaf trades insistent beeping for any freaky siren and brings itself to some stop in their lane together with the emergency flashers activated. The total time through the first missed warning to stoppage from 55 miles per hour is all about 45 seconds. Kudos to Nissan to create the warnings tough to miss. Not only will be the LEDs sounding wailing spookily reminiscent with the pull-up, pull-up siren often heard in doomed jet airliners cockpit voice recordings, it's more successful compared to subtler beeping in Mercedes-Benz's similar emergency slow-down sequence. With effective new technology and powered rain hardware going for a decisive revolution, the LEAF has life anew after kickstarting the mass market of race last year. Buyers are going to be the ultimate judges with the LEAF's price to range ratio, but it really certainly looks compelling. We only wish that Nissan added more flair for the cabin. The interior's hard plastics and cheap filling. Mismatched switch gear seemingly culled from the three major different cars are obvious sacrifices, with resources diverted towards the Leaf's excellent battery and chassis hardware. Heck, the steering column is adjustable exclusively for tilt, the telescoping function previously being cost cut through the previous generation Leaf midway through its life cycle. The Leaf deserves better including because taller drivers have no choice but into a less than ideal hunch to figure out the leader. Granted, the Chevrolet Bolt's mediocre cabin and odd seating position similarly stand as totems to difficult choices made throughout the allocation of development dollars. In both cars, the batteries and well-tuned chassis won, the interiors lost. We hope that nicer innards are inside the works for that long range, and without doubt substantially pricier. Leaf Plus that's Dubai.